There's a number of ways that we can create multiples in Corel Draw. One way is with the step and repeat command. This command is found under the edit menu. In this example, I'm going to work on a 12 by 24 size page. So first of all, I'm going to create a plate that's going to be 1 by 3 as far as its size. So I'm going to go 3 by 1. Press enter. Now I need to get that to the top left hand corner. I'm going to do that by going to Arrange, Transformation, Position, and I want to select the left top handle and my horizontal value is going to be 0 and my vertical value is going to be 12. I'm going to say Apply and now my rectangle is in the top left hand corner. Now let's open up the Step and Repeat command. So we're going to go to Edit, and here's our step and repeat command right here. Now, I'm going to go horizontally first. Because I've got a 24 inch wide plate, I can get eight, inch, eight plates along the horizontal length of the page. That's three times eight is 12. So I'm going to type in seven here because I've already got one plate. And if I hit the down arrow here, I'm going to turn off the offset for the vertical because I'm not going to create vertical offsets. And I'm going to say offset for the horizontal. Now I want a three inch offset and I want to create seven copies. So all I have to do now is go apply and I filled up my horizontal length. Now let's select all these rectangles and I want to come down the page so I'm going to turn off the offset for the horizontal and I'm going to turn on the offset for the vertical. And again, this value is going to be minus 1. Remember, I have to traverse down the page, I have to go minus. I've got a 1 inch high plate, I've got a 12 inch high multiple plate, so I need 12 plates for vertical, so I need 11 here because I've already got one row. I'm going to say apply, and I've created a multiple. 12 by 24 multiple page with a number of 1 by 3s inside 96 in total. Now, when it comes to the step and repeat command, there's actually a couple of other ways I can figure the multiples out. I'm going to work back with my 1 by 3 plate, and I'm going to hit the down arrow here. I'm going to say no offset, and I'm going to go do the horizontal first again. So let's say we're going to have a spacing between objects. And I'm going to have a 0% spacing. And my direction is going to go right, or I could go left. I'm going to go right in this case. Now, again, I want 7 across. So I'm going to say Apply. And there's my plates. Now, if I select all these plates here, let's turn this off to no offset turn us on the spacing between objects. Again, make it zero and we're going to go down and we want 11 copies. And there we go, I filled up the page. So again, there's a couple of different ways that you can create your multiples within the step and repeat command. Now, again, if we take a look, go back and we take a look at our, our spacing between objects, let's say, for example, that when I create my 1 by 3, I want to create a little bit of space here. So let's say, for example, I want a 0.5 inch distance on my space. I can say, let's create five plates to the right and then apply. And notice now I've got some, I've got a half inch space between my plates. And if I want to select these and go down, I can say no offset, spacing between the plates. And then let's say it's supposed to be 8.25. And we want to go down. Let's create five copies again, click apply, and there we go. We've got we've got six rows of plates, and we've got a quarter inch spacing between each row. So a couple of different uh, uses we can find for the step and repeat command. Again, what we've done here can be done in our transformation docker, but some people feel more comfortable in certain commands within Corel Draw. So step and repeat is another way you can do you can use a command to create multiples.